हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस वेलकम अगेन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ए फाइल इन चावा एंड हाउ वी कैन राइट ए डेटा इन टू दैट फाइल इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी कैन रीड द डेटा फ्रॉम ए फाइल now we will see how we can enter the data or how we can write a data into the file so for that i am just creating a string file that is the data which i want to insert so this is my dummy data to insert into the file like this i have created now i have to create the file object and here i have to give the name of the file so i am giving the name of the file in src folder and file name would be the uh, data.txt like this under the src folder uh, we giving the file name and i am creating i am importing the file also now i will use the file writer writer class so for writing a data into file file writer this class represent the character streams for writing a data and here i am passing a file object f now we have to import it we have to handle the exception also now i will write the data So fw dot write. So it's very simple. Just a string I have to pass, and I have to pass the data here. So like this. Now I have to close also also the file. So I will close it and finally block. Like this, and uh, I will close the fw. So I will create this object outside the try block here. like this now i will close it this file and i will handle the exception also like this so if i start it so i have to display the data also i have to display here message that data inserted like this and i run it you say data inserted so if i want to read the data what are the data which i have been read so i can go in the folder src and in this folder we can say the file is created data.txt and if i open it you see this is the dummy data insert into the file so like this i can insert data and this is the example of writing a data by using a character stream but by doing a some smaller modification you can also use byte streams like in place of file writer i can use file output stream like this so in place of this class i have to use the output stream class for file handling like this now i have to create the object of this file like this now in place of this data i have to convert it into byte like this see because it's a byte stream so i have to convert the string into byte now name of this file is characters data data so i can say data b so i can check that some other file is also created by the same information and if i run it you see that inserted and if i see you here you see data b is also created same line of code is also there same line of code is also there so by using this we have created the two files okay so in this example we have learned how we can create a new file by using character streams and by using the byte stream that's so simple see you in next program for copying the data of one file into 
another by using the character streams and byte streams and we will also check what is the difference between character streams and byte streams when we are copying some pdf file images files and what are the differences between character and byte we will see in next program also till then bye